The sampling, it is the key element to a dairy operation. The quality of milk has to be maintained. It never gets any better than what it does once it comes off the dairy farm. Every time that that hauler collects that producer's milk supply on the farm, it becomes a commingled product on that tanker. They do a screening test on that tanker load to ensure that there's no antibiotic residues in that milk. The sampling is mandated to ensure that the milk that goes to the consumer is the most wholesome product you'll have. If it's shown that that certified screening test is, is negative for antibiotics, that milk is processed. If it is shown to be that that tanker load of milk does have an antibiotic residue or an animal drug residue in it, then it is traced back through the producer samples that are always collected with that load of milk. That load of milk is disposed of, it's not entered into the human food chain. We get a sample that is out of standard, say if it's a high bacteria count. Now we investigate why it was a high bacteria count. We get another sample that is high, that producer's supply is placed on notice, and that means that he can no longer supply that milk until he clears his supply. They are all regulated under the same standards established in the pasteurized milk yards. Dairy farmers have to take so much pride and expense in maintaining their supply just because that they have to sell it as a grade A product. And that's what the consumer has to understand. That they, they are assured that no matter where they buy their milk, no matter what store, no matter what brand, it is all the same. I'm Gary Casabon, the administrator of the Milk and Dairy Program in Louisiana, and I'm proud to work with the dedicated dairy farm families of the Southeast.